Hello everyone, welcome to Pixel Talk. I am Corbin Stuckey. Today I'm joined by my friend, Coryard. How are you today, sir? I'm doing pretty good, Corbin. That's good. Corey, you're a history buff, right? Um, yeah. Cool. Very, very cool. Very much so. I'm okay. a nerd, so. Do you, uh... Nerds. Nerds. What? Nerds. nerds. A history nerds. history nerd? Yeah. Do you watch any of the Quentin Tarantino movies? Um, Pulp Fiction, that's Pulp about Fiction, it. okay. Uh, did you ever see Django Unchained by any chance? Did you no. ever watch that? No. Okay. Um, so this is a trailer for another movie mm -hmm. of, uh, Quentin Tarantino's. It's called The Hateful Eight. It's a little bit like Django Unchained, whereas I think it's a, I think it's a Western. And let me give you a little background to this. This movie almost didn't happen because about a year or two ago, this script got leaked. Like somebody like let the script go and like a lot of people like read it or whatever. And because of this, he, uh, Quentin Tarantino almost didn't make this movie. And we're finally getting this movie. And Someone screwed up big time. Yeah, exactly. And it has Samuel L. Jackson in it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give you our reaction to this trailer. What? <laughs> I love Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think it's a Western. Yeah, I have a stagecoach, so what do you think? Probably. Is that a that's a Whoa. long one. <laughs> Dead body. Samuel L. Jackson! Got room for one more. The eighth film by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> this is great. They call him the hangman. When the handbill says dead or alive, the rest of us just shoot you in the back and up on top of a perch somewhere and bring you in dead over a saddle. But when John Roof, the hangman, catches you, you hang. Get in, boys! Oh, I love those dangly things, man. This here is Daisy Domergue. She's wanted dead or alive for murder. When that sun comes out, I'm taking this woman to hang. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody here committed to stopping me from doing that? Well, well, well. Looks like Minnie's half dash is about to get cozy for the next few days. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. One of them fellas is not what he says he is. It, that's cool because it's an old camera too. Yeah, that's that's pretty significant actually. Um, what do you? What, yeah, what would you? Because like you're a history buff. Like, what did you think? Like, was was that pretty accurate to? Well, I mean, considering it's Hollywood, yeah, nothing's accurate. But hey, yeah, some things in Hollywood just seem great, even though they're hundred percent inaccurate. But I mean, this honestly looks fantastic. The, it, the look wise, it plus, I mean, you can you can automatically see that at one point in or another. Because it's Samuel L. Jackson, Jackson, he's going to have his signature line. The uh, English, English, yeah, probably. Um, I mean, I think it looks uh, historically accurate. I don't think it's probably gonna be historically accurate because, like, all. most of Quentin Tarantino's like films, you, when they go back to like a certain time range, they're not very historically accurate. Like in Inglorious Bastards, like spoiler alert. If you haven't seen *Inglorious Bastards*, it's but good. Uh, Hitler like was killed in a movie theater. Like he was shot multiple times with a machine gun. That didn't happen in real <laughs> life. And then blows up. And then blows up. I mean, up. that would yeah. be great if that happened in real life. That would probably be the best thing to happen. So I'm. But that's cool. And honestly, like this probably do, it, it probably doesn't even matter if it's historically accurate because this is, is this is just like the the time in this movie. It's just 
uh, a setting. It's not like this isn't an actual story. I that mean, took place. the hat that, just... the hat the guy that wore is the, with the dangly things. I can't remember what they're called, but that's like straight out of SpongeBob. Wait, what? That, you know, like. Uh, when the sea bear episode, the guy with the sombrero with the dangly hat. Oh, that, yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, my God. I think, what I like about the Quentin Tarantino movies is, like, they're, they're really themed, like, with grit, <clears throat> which is, like, really well done, but it, they never take themselves, like, too seriously, you know? Especially since, like, Samuel L. Jackson's in this movie. Well, it's, like, it, he's the one, like, he's the comedic one <laughs> in all these Quentin Tarantino movies. Like, I mean... What Quentin Tarantino movie does not have Samuel L. Jackson? True, very true. Like, well, Glorious Bastards. I bet. He, I don't. Was he in that? I don't know. He's in a. He's in a majority. He's in most of them. FYI. Of the, yeah, he's in most of them. He's just like. When you think of Quentin Tarantino, you can't not think of Samuel yeah, L. Jackson. Pulp Fiction. Like right there. So yeah. I mean, I, I what about what about uh what the, watch not Watch Dogs but what's that other one? Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. He was, was he not. In he was not in, in that. He was not in Reservoir Dogs. One of the actors who was in Reservoir Dogs was was in this. Really? Which yeah. one? Yeah. He was. It was the guy. I can't remember his name. He was in the Incredible Hulk. He was the one who was undercover. He was undercover. The guy who was undercover in Reservoir Dogs. He was in this trailer. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but like, if you saw Reservoir Dogs, you, you know the actor that I'm talking about. He was also in Incredible Hulk. So, yeah, it, it actually looks like there's a lot of actors who were in previous Quentin Tarantino movies that are in this movie, like Samuel L. Jackson, the guy from Incredible Hulk. Just a lot of people seem to be in this movie. Like it's a, oh, and Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell was in this. Like wait, Kurt, was, Kurt Russell? He, he's he's the one from Miracle, right? What? You know that hockey movie Miracle? Maybe Kurt Russell was in the thing. I don't, I don't the, watch uh, superhero movies, so... The Thing isn't a superhero movie. I don't movie. watch the superhero movies. Is, no, I know, I'm uncool. The Thing is a horror movie from, like, the 70s or 80s about a thing that can take shape. You're thinking of the Fantastic Four thing. I'm, I'm not thinking of a miracle. It's hockey. It's hockey. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out our reaction to this trailer for The Hateful Eight. Comment down below what you thought of this trailer. Like the video, share it, and please subscribe to Pixel Talk if you haven't yet. Uh, also, recently, I just made a Patreon page, so if you would like to donate me to help make the channel a better place, you can. I'll put a link down below so you can go and donate. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I am Corbin Stuckey. This is Corey Ard. I'm Corey Ard. Yeah, he just said his name after I said I did. his name. And, and that's Corbin Stuckey. And this is Pixel Talk. Pixel Talk. Yeah. <laughs>